Hello again. It's another walk from town and country. This one, we're going to be walking through Eton and Windsor. The Royal Borough. Um, we're going to be starting off in Eton. We're just walking from the main junction. You can see the castle there. Windsor Castle. And we're going to be walking up over the bridge, over the Thames and into Eton. Now it's quite a pleasant day. It's the 11th of January 2023. And the temperatures run about 7 degrees centigrade. Which is quite mild. A bit chilly but not too bad. Now we're just walking over the, the Thames here which has had a lot of rainfall so you can see it's quite high. Um, it's not normally as high as this but we have had a lot of rainfall and there's more to come later today. It's quite fast flowing as well. Yeah, fast flowing along. I have seen it higher than this before in Windsor, where it did actually flood in places. Um, hopefully it's not going to do that again, especially for these people living here at Riverside. They would be pretty worried. Uh, it was actually worse in Staines than it was here. That was in 2014, so nine years ago. But it was quite bad, but always a worry. The Thames burst its bank. Anyway, we shall carry on into Eton. So first of all, we'll just have a look around here. We'll go down Brockers Street. Yeah, so we're going down Brocker Street, um, which is just off the main drag. We'll have a look around the back here at the Waterman's Arms. It is quite chilly actually and windy. So this is just some flats for the local residents, which is a prime location in Eton. Um, and there's a park over there. We'll have a look at that one day. Just want to have a look at the Waterman's Arms. Nice old traditional pub. It was a woman that drove me to drink and I didn't have the decency to thank her. We are dog friendly. Water bowls and dog biscuits available at the bar. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, look at the way the tree comes out there. It's even got the, the felt around it to stop the rain coming in. I've never noticed that before. The 
there you go. Oh, that little bench, I've never noticed that before either. I must pay it a visit, the Waterman's Arms. But not today, we got... We got eating and winds at a cover. Now, walking through Eton, obviously famous for Eton, the public school. That's produced uh, quite a lot of UK Prime Ministers. I'm not quite sure how many, but Boris Johnson was the latest one. Winston Churchill. Um, David Cameron, that's three. Uh, there's quite a few more, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. So, obviously, very famous. The Eton mess. Little old bookshop there. So, you've got an old, old building being redeveloped there. No windows in it. So there's quite a lot of antique shops and obviously um, also uh, clothes shops. I think they have the tailors for the um, the Eton school uniform. I'm sure I've passed that before, so we'll have a look up here anyway, see if we can see it. Quite a few barber shops as well. Queen Elizabeth Arch. Let's have a look down there. So it's just private residential apartments, I believe, here. Eaton Town Council. We've also got a roll call, or a roll of honour here. Commemorate the service rendered by the members of the Eaton Fire Brigade during yeah. the Great War. I think that's tea, I think. I, I didn't possibly, yes. Yeah. I think that's tea before we start. Well, I think in terms of the car, it's really good. To the memory of Charles Horatio Hobbs, formerly engineer of this brigade, who died while serving the first Bucks Volunteers at Crinstead, South Africa. What? <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> yeah, very interesting. Obviously a lot of history in Eton. Mainly to do with the school and its rich history. And standing with the Commonwealth and also um, the Empire. Formerly the Empire. 
There's some great old buildings with the architecture, like that one there with the arches, five actual arches. Sure, the name of the arch there is, but we'll walk under it. Now, I've been to Windsor many times, but I've never actually been down here. These look like little motel rooms. Must be part of the pub, maybe. I can see the cleaners coming in and out. There's a little sign there, hotel car park. There you go. Didn't get the name of the hotel, but that's it there, looking at the back, the back view. Not sure the, what period that dates back to, but it's pretty old, I would say. See that little steel basket, flower basket. I don't know how old that is. Right, the Christopher Eaton Hotel. There we go. Here's the original signage on the front there in tiles very nice there we go We've got an old sign of the building there this building, schools are joining Instructional Eaton Parish. It was erected in the year 1812. That was over 200 years then. 210, 210, 12 years old. Eaton War Memorial Garden. To the glory of God and to the honoured memory of the heroes of the town that gave their lives during the Great War, 1918. I think they're taking down the Christmas lights.
Yeah, it looks like the guys are taking down the Christmas lights. I feel we should. Tudors established 1799. Grocers, groceries and provisions. Mr. Tudor milk shakes. Little dog in the window barking at me. There's another building here. I think that says 1658. So that's, that's 400 years old, if I'm correct in my mathematics. It really is rich in history, Eton, it has to be said. Tom Brown Taylor's. We'll come walking back that side and we'll have a look. So we're just coming out of the high street and heading towards the actual college or the school. I think it is termed as Eaton College. Just looking at the church over there, and the wonderful uh, towers on the top. I'm not sure what the proper word is. Spires, is that the word? So you've got the real ancient next to the new. So there's a new build going on over there, or maybe it's not new, it's just been redeveloped. Extensions put on the back. It's a great looking church, it has to be said.
just as nice. New Prime Minister's in the making. School library. How many famous people have been in there studying, spotting up? When? Like a monitor. Yeah. Just walk down to the end here, just so we can take a look at some of these these older buildings here, the architecture. I'm always fascinated by the period or the age of them, but it looks like they must be four, five hundred years old. There's no stones I can see set in by uh, but there's another view of the school there. A couple of extensions built on there, but built in the same design with the brickwork. That's known as Flemish Bond, <clears throat> which was very popular many years ago. There's Flemish Bond and English Bond. And also the wrought iron gates. Right, now further on, we're coming out of the... Uh, the school part uh, and then it takes you to the playing fields uh, we won't cover that today so we'll uh, turn around what I'm trying to do is find uh, the age of the buildings I like those little windows in there with the bars on them it's uh, I know these ones with little S stills, they're like steel bars that run through the building, which they put in many years ago, Victorian period, to uh, strengthen the walls so the weight wouldn't press down and push the walls out because they were made from lime. Um, so they put those in to strengthen them. You can see them in quite a lot of buildings if you walk around London or anywhere in the UK really, it was quite common. Now they're kind of built with steels and a uh, brick and block design uh, with ties which strengthen it up. Right, we'll have a crossover. I could probably look it up and find out what year it was all built. I'm still adding bits to it, but... These little windows here, the original lead. Quite a lot of construction work going on by the look of it. There's some glazers and general builders. 
another part of the school there. Just looking at that, is that an original lead downpipe? Could well be the way it's been pushed in. You don't often see that now. Very busy here today. Eaton College is currently closed to the public. Another little arch there, that building. Probably the horse and carriages would have went under there. So is that fifteen sixty eight or sixteen fifty eight? Or 1685. I'm not sure, but it's uh, very impressive. It's got the old sign there on the below the Slough Road sign. Marathon 25 miles, route 40.2 kilos. <laughs> and there's another example of those uh, S-shaped steel columns going through the brickwork. As you can see, which strength, strengthen them up. They would run the whole length of the building and that would stop any pressure pushing down and pushing the walls out. Because uh, the weight on the top and the roof could collapse, push the walls out. Now they use steels, obviously, and uh, modern techniques, but that's how they done it though. then. They just fed a bar through one end to the other. You see it in a lot of these period properties. Quite a lot of hairdressers down here, it has to be said.
old map of Berkshire. Eighteen sixty. <clears throat> Right the way the windows have got the wooden supports here as well. Um, so, so I think. Right, so we're coming through to the end of the high street and up again onto the bridge. What we'll do is we'll have a walk down by the Thames. Just have a look. Hello, thank you. Well, we'll have a look down this riverside piazza. No smoking outside area. Yep, this is definitely very high today, the Thames. And I think there's more rain forecasts later this week as well. In fact, this is the afternoon, the sun coming in. So you've got the old buildings there and that new one just over there, that was built in the last 10 years. You can see the castle just peeping out the back. And this, uh, I think it's French's restaurant that's been here for, well, forever. I've been in it once as well, it's quite nice food. Not much of it, it has to be said, but it was nice.
towards in. And there's the frontage of the restaurant. Yeah, it's not a bad restaurant. It's not overly overpriced. Not the cheapest, obviously, because of its locality. But uh, yeah, very nice in the summer, very popular. Obviously looking out on the Thames. But, yeah, 